Have you ever heard the term silent majority? Have you felt like you could do more? Do you have a desire to help with local politics or make a difference in how the government operates? Is it overwhelming to think about? Those questions define me. They were me, but not anymore. This podcast is about our voice, our questions, our feelings, and working together to make a difference for the future. We believe that we must fight for our liberty or lose our freedoms. Join me as I speak to our friends and neighbors, our politicians and leaders, and discover ways that we all can make a difference in the direction of the United States of America. Hello, this is the first episode of Liberty or Lose. Thank you for finding us, and I appreciate your interest in the topic. I thought it would be appropriate to start this first episode off with a reading. Uh, it was actually a blog from an author and artist. His name is Jack Donovan. And it goes something like this. People are wringing their hands about how divided the American people are. I believe that they should be divided. What has been happening should be divisive. Should a man who wants to be free not despise the neighbor who could see him enslaved? If you can accept a definition of goodness that includes freedom of coercive oppression, freedom of speech, the right to self-determination, and the freedom to pursue individual health and strength and success by virtue of one's own merit and effort, and you are willing to accept a definition of evil that includes coercive, oppression, censorship, and cradle to the grave institutional control of your body and life path, then what is being revealed is a contrast between good and evil, between heroes and villains. History hasn't ended. We are in it, deep in the thick of it. It has often been said that hard times create strong men. It is our time to become strong. It is our job to fight this wickedness. We can't wait for some golden age or pine away for one that we missed, some mythic time we never knew. We can't wait for heroes to save us. It's up to us to become the strong men who create the new golden age, to become the men that future men will admire. The red pill has always been about truth, contrasting hard realities with the pretty lies told to the plebs who swallow every blue pill, live every new normal without question, but revealing the truth isn't enough. Pointing out lies is just the start. I ask about the difference. Between thumos and resentment, resentment is a jealous, conniving, bitchy hatred of the successful and the powerful. Thumos is the righteous desire for justice. Most importantly, in resentment, there is resignation, and in thumos, a desire to take action. The thematic man doesn't merely see a wrong or say a wrong. He wants to right a wrong. He wants to step up and do something in whatever way he can. I'm going to call that the gold pill. It is not enough to recognize villains. We must become heroes and kings, men who right wrongs and straighten that which is crooked. It is up to us to become the men of a new golden age, men who other men will look back with awe and admiration. In The Way of Men, which is one of Jack's books that he wrote, I recognize the frustration of the millions of men who have been denied the opportunity to become what they are and demonstrate greatness. Well, that opportunity has arrived. We have the hard times. We just need the strong men. While many are to blame and they should be held accountable for what happens next is ultimately on us. And, uh, you know, if you, if you read Jack's books, you'll see where he's coming from. He really is a, uh, focuses on masculinity and, and the role that the man or the male plays in society. And uh, a lot of his philosophies, I think, are great. Um, and, and I just, I like the way that he's framed, without saying it as much, framed where we're at in society with politics. And as I said in the opening of my show, with the music in the background so dramatically, that uh, it's time 
to not be the silent majority anymore. And that is the reason why I've started this podcast. And I drafted a document. It basically says, fight for your liberty or lose your freedom. And I thought, man, it's time. It's time not to be silent anymore. It's time to start talking and speaking up. Because if we don't, we will not be able to preserve what we know the Constitution to be. And I went on to suggest to myself that I would start a Montana Liberty or Lose Conservative PAC, Political Action Committee. And we will help to raise funds to support those efforts. And uh, I hope you follow the story along, and I'll be launching that soon. I'm just working through the banking process of that and setting up my nonprofit. But, you know, liberty means the state of being free within society from control or oppressive restrictions imposed by authority on one's way of life, behavior, or political views. And what's interesting, I've heard people talk about small government before, and I really never knew what that meant, literally. But, you know, as conservatives, small government is ultimately what we want. We typically are the people that say, you know what, I'm going to just do my own thing. Leave me alone. You do your thing. Well, I'll be happy. I'm going to go work hard and make money and spend time with my family. Well, that's what small government represents, letting the people do what they need to do to be happy. As we get more government and more overreach, well, hell, you've seen that in the last two weeks. If you've been watching the 40-plus executive orders that Biden has either reversed of Trump's or added uh, to his own government, And all the policies and procedures they're putting in place. The cancellation of jobs with the XL pipeline. We want small government. We want small reach. We want to be free. To lose, be deprived of, or cease to have, or retain. We are going to lose our freedom unless we fight for what we believe in. And who do we support? We support our conservative leaders, like-minded business owners, and citizens of our state, now I'm in the state of Montana, and beyond, and support our citizens around the country that want to fight for our constitutional rights. I also support the Second Amendment, freedom of religion, small government, public land use, legal immigration, legal immigration, and pro-life. You know, these are things of the conservative party, and they're things of, of my faith. I also support the Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers and their vision of the United States. So I hope you will follow me along in this journey and not be a part of the silent majority anymore. If this podcast accomplishes one thing, that one thing should be you using your voice to speak up in your own communities, know your own truths, and fight for what you believe to be is right. And when I say fight, this is, again, another lame term that's been in the news, you know, because they say Trump incited an insurrection because he said fight. Um, I, I mean... Get out there with your voice and do what needs to be done so that we can maintain our constitutional rights. Uh, You know, it's hard to know where to start, and I hope that this show will be able to give you some of those tools. I have been involved in a few things recently to help, uh, one of which is I started a... Uh, another podcast with the state representative here in Montana. His name is John Fuller, and his podcast is called Life and Politics with John Fuller, F-U-L-L-E-R. I'll put that in the description of the show. You can go to his uh, podcast and listen to, um, you know, where do we go from here as Republicans, how we can help, the things that we could be doing. Some of them are focused on Montana, but many of them apply outside of the state. I am also open to receiving questions via text, email, social media uh, that I can ask John on your behalf, and we can get those answered on his show, or we can try to answer them on this show. Uh, Other places that I go for resources, I listen to Charlie Kirk. I like him because he's really kind of in the middle. He's faith-based. He's young. He's got a great following. He uh, utilizes the Library of Congress for a lot of his information, so it's relevant out of D.C., And uh, he doesn't throw a lot of conspiracy theory out there, which I like listening to that, but I'm not sure how valid most of that is. So I really like to listen to Charlie Kirk. He's got a great podcast, puts one out almost every single day, sometimes two a day. I read the Epoch Times. You can get it online. I make a donation to them. It's only a couple bucks a month. Uh, Great news source. They've been around for a very long time. I listen to Newsmax. You can get them for free on the internet. Just go to Newsmax TV. And I also do like a lot of Tucker Carlson's pieces on Fox. I'm not quite sure about the rest of the hosts over there, but Tucker seems to be taking the blunt of uh, the pressure over there, and and he seems to be producing some good content. 
outside of some of that media, I would really suggest being careful about how many rabbit holes you go down on your social media. I am also a victim of that. I find my hours on the phone statement is becoming more and more each week, and I'm not proud of it, and I'm going to do everything I can to get away from that and hopefully provide resources instead of getting time sucked into social media. If you haven't seen The Social Dilemma, it's worth watching, and you'll understand why we're all getting sucked in the phones because they're feeding us exactly what we're looking for, and we're helping them make big bucks. As far as other places where you can get some resources, House of Representative website, any one of your states, just go, you know, if you're in California, go to California House of Representatives, uh, go to their website, and you'll find out more about what's going on, what bills are being suggested, what's happening in government, where you can get involved there. You can get involved in local clubs. If you just search GOP websites or GOP dash California or the city you're in, for me it was GOP Montana, you'll find out all the great clubs you can get involved with. Uh, I've been inter- attending the Pachydermy Club here in Montana. Sounds like a weird name, didn't know what it was. Uh, it is the GOP uh, and where they meet once a month, and I've, it's been a great resource. So, again, the point of this show is to educate. I hope to have guests on here like yourself, and and I say yourself, I don't know who's listening, but normal people are listening, everyday people are listening, and I'd like to hear your views, your stress points, what's going on through your mind, what you're utilizing for resources, and where you think this country's going, and how you're doing to help things change, because I think by hearing from one another, uh, we can have some comfort in that, we can have some understanding in that, and maybe we can support one another through that. I will also be reaching out to John Fuller and Matt Regeer, who are both state representatives here in uh, in the state of Montana, and uh, they can bring relevant information. And then I will do a reach out amongst my social media uh, followers to get more uh, people in government. If you know my other podcast, The Answer is Yes, I recently had uh, Major Williams on, who is actually part of the recall for Gavin Newsom in California, and he's running for governor there. So uh, we'll do our best to bring some quality people on the show. But I want to thank you for listening, and I want to encourage you to get involved and encourage you to reach out to me and and see if we can't add some content to this show. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'll I'll try to put this show out once a week and bring some value to you. So please uh, share the show on your social media if you like it, if you think there's value. And uh, let's open up the floodgates for the abuse that we'll probably get from the left. Wishing you all the best week. Thank you and God bless. 